look, like this. we're like the male female version of the same person. Oh my gosh. No, she's not ugly. <laughs> Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome back to our Stupid Reaction Unit. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Instagram and Twitter. It's Instagram so Twitter. juicy. And also us on Patreon. Mm. Follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell. Put on the notification squad. <laughs> we Today. also do juicy things in our YouTube channels, too. Yeah, we have our own personal YouTube channels. We, we have our own personal out. YouTube channel. You should check out the cooking that guy's doing over there. <laughs> yeah, I do some cooking. <laughs> if you want to call it that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, today uh, we are reacting. It is a what? Who's whose birthday is it, Rick? Whose birthday is it? Well, let me see. There's approximately seven point something billion people on Earth. There's 365 days of the year. So if you divide seven point something billion by 365 and do some kind of a ratio percentage wise, there's at least five. Oh, good. Uh, one of those five is uh, Arjit Singh. Uh, who we hey. know and love. It's his birthday. He's an amazing singer. Uh, we're gonna act. Is, I was gonna say, is Arjit Singh gonna sing for us today? He is. Uh, hey. This is called Tum Hai Ho. Uh, <laughs> I, be I believe Tum Hai Ho. Tum Sorry, <laughs> you know where I went. Hi Ho. Hi Ho. But this is uh, from his MTV Live tour uh, uh, in India. So. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ariji takes us on his Whoa. journey from Whoa. his small town roots to his path to superstardom. He began his training in singing at the young age of three. I got to know from my mother that I was attracted to music. Fourth standard में था तब scholarships के बहुत सारे exams होते थे. So I got into one exam and I got a scholarship. That's the moment my guruji started thinking कि it might be a right option for me to go through. After twelfth exam, I was kind of sure that okay, this is the way to you know work on. He came to Mumbai and took part in a couple of reality shows. Oh, he's, he's one of those. With his unique singing style. That's our okay. He became a music arranger and worked with all the big names. It was very, very special. A phase where I learned, I think, the most, uh, being here in Mumbai. He had to struggle for a while before getting his big break. <laughs> Dang. Everything is good in life because the energy is completely different than any other place, you know? But once he got the break, there was no stopping the hits. <laughs> I love this commentator. <laughs> the narrator. You need to concentrate on the song. It's just you have to own the song. I think that's when you get that feeling that I'll have to do something really, really special to the song. And that's how I think the song will have that uh, different vibe. He has broken new ground with his live performances. The grandeur of the music is different. You can really feel the grandeur. It's the best place to be at him.
How, how cool, I know, <laughs> obviously we'll never ever experience this, but that, that moment when thousands upon thousands of people are singing your song. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I honed in on. It, and it, it just reminded me of um, the instant thing that came to my mind was what a truly, and I'm going to wax philosophical, a truly sacred intimacy between artist and audience happens whether it's singing of songs or uh, just being touched because literally like for a song when you write a song that song came from in you and comes out and is inside of someone else and it becomes a shared thing with somebody same thing experientially when you've experienced a beautiful motion picture and you're touched emotionally by an, an actor's performance, what was in them is now in you. And that's why you feel this sense of, of kinship with them. That is for me, one of the most important aspects of artistry, because I can't think of any other medium we do as an endeavor as human beings that not only touches on the aesthetics that we appreciate and enjoy together and celebrate as human beings that make us human, but that it's that it's that intimacy that happens, something transpired that began inside of the artist and is transmitted into the audience, and they in turn give you back something of themselves. It's a, it's a really, really special, precious thing. And yes, we won't experience it that way. You know, the closest I've ever come to that is, is when you get uh, a live audience in a play. Yeah. And then the interactions we have with the stupid babies over the past year is the closest that we've come where we actually feel that sense of connection you know yeah uh, yeah it's beautiful and obviously yeah i don't have to 
tell you guys that he's an amazing singer. It's that's obvious. It's that's <laughs> obvious. It's like, oh, he's amazing. No shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, I didn't know he was like almost like an American Idol type. I didn't know he came from like those um, competition shows. Right. I had right. No idea. I. So he's like a Kelly Clarkson type. Like he came from those type of shows, and now he's just a household name. Um, yeah. I, obviously, he's not touring now, but I wonder if he ever tours in the United States. Because um, I would, I would totally go see Arjun Singh. I would absolutely if, go see him. And if I'm not mistaken, I think when I was last in Calcutta, I think the meet and greet that Indrani and I did was happening on the same day his concert was happening in Calcutta. I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised anybody came. I know. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd, I would be very happy to. I'd love. Obviously, I would. It would be very similar to um, like when we went and we got the honor to watch Ustadi Zakir Hussain live. We listened as much as we could to him before we went. I would love to do that with him. I would love to be able to see him in concert and get some of his music under our skin so that we could really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, so, so we could sing yeah. along. And we could sing along exactly. That was awesome. It's, it's beautiful to hear so many lyrics like. They go, they'll say, uh, uh, there's so many times we've heard similar lyrics throughout. We're you slowly know, being word, taught Hindi. One word I've heard a ton, zindegi. Yeah. Zindegi. I, I think it means like life, I think, or something like that. Uh, or, or I don't know. But I, I hear it right. in almost every I know single dill song. Dill is the heart. Uh, so you guys And I know whenever, what, any what point in the song where somebody would say, acha, and you're all over that. <laughs> That's all over next, that. That's my next Hindi scene. Achha. <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Three minutes. Achha. Doing over and over. Absolutely. That should be a thing. I should do like a, a video where I just sit in different positions and just say, Achha. Like if I was a spokesperson for a product, they would oh, just be Tajti. I've got it right now. Achha. Anybody connected, any trust me, anybody connected with old monk, you need to utilize Corbin Miles like the most interesting man in the world and all he ever does he's seated in different positions drink an old monk saying give it to us Corbin Achha. <laughs> <laughs>